What's up, my new friends? Today, I'm going to use Kobayashi team to destroy every single boss in the game. Now, there is a lot of boss in the game and I have listed them in an order of level. So you can see here, Kraken being level 3 and Norza being level 15. And this is what I will do for the Kobayashi team. So I will raise every single unit to level 3 and I will fight Kraken. Um, Kraken? I will fight Kraken. And then if I'm able to defeat Kraken, I will raise my units to level 15 and then try to beat Nozart and then follow on to beat every single boss in the game. Now, I know this is not the full list because this is only a story and extra chapter. I cannot fight boss in the Spire because, well, they don't allow units with different elements. I also don't want to fight boss in the Kalanamini Codex because they cannot be beaten. So it's pointless to do them. So firstly first, we have to raise our level. And first with Kraken, so I have to raise every single unit to level 3. All right, level 3 for Toru. All right, level 3 for Kana. Level 3 for Elma. Oh, sh I accidentally pressed another. Well, I cannot go back now. So level 4, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then we have Lukoa. Oh. I guess I have to do this. Level 3. And we have Fafnir. Where is Fafnir? There we go. Alright, we have the first boss, which is Kraken. As you can see here, level 3. Alright, let's see if this works. <laughs> uh, I do have the, the extra stat bonus. After you clear the stage, I'll show you later. Uh, so it's not exactly correct. It's, it's called what? Uh, the skill command or something? So you do get a little bit more stat than you cleared the first time. But since this team is not exactly the optimal team, I guess I should get that advantage. Man, I haven't fought this boss for a long time. It's like... Alright. Oh, you're actually still teaching me how to fight it. That's cute. Oh, clear tiles. They actually do quite a lot of damage, surprisingly. I don't think that did anything. I should swap leader here. Uh, I guess Elma is probably better here. If you hit every single tiles. Let's dodge one of the tiles. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Elma. Killing it. I'm surprised Elma do so much damage. Alright, that's Kraken. So the next one is Norzart, which is level 15. Alright, Toru level 15. Kana level 15. Elma level 15. And Lukoa level 15. Fafnir level 15. Alright, this is the Norzart, which as you can see here, level 15. And this is the first Norzart we will fight. There is a lot more to come. So every single unit is level 15. Let's give it a try. Big ass dragon. Yeah, I want to show you the skill command. Where do I? Yeah, this is this is it. Greatly increase Aurorian combat power. So this is not exactly fair, but you know, I can't really remove it even if I want to. So. <laughs> Uh, I think Toru might be worse than Elma here, so I'll choose Elma. Ow. Actually, it doesn't hurt at all. Pretty useless though. <laughs> uh, charge power for impending attack. Okay. This is so nostalgic, honestly. Uh, let's see. Is there any one of them a three combo? I guess switch to Kokoa. To hit a little bit. Okay. We have all our abilities. So we should do this first. Oh, 
Oh. All right. Hana. Oh, Hana doing a lot of damage there. Let's try this. Elma should one shot him, I think. Yep. Well, wow, Elma is really good on Nozart. <laughs> Alright, that's Nozat clear. Alright, the next one will be Umbra Hulk. Level 20. Alright, Toru will be level 20. This. Kana level 20. Kama level 20. Koa level 20. And then Fafnir level 20. So this is the chapter 2 to 8 boss. Okay, let's see if this team can beat the almighty Umbra Hulk, which is uh, the first 2x2 four two two boss, the 4 tower boss. Pretty good tile on the opening scene. Let's see. I think I can tank it here, no problem. Water tile will be best for this team because there's two water units. Don't even need it. Summon pebbles. Okay. Is he gonna walk close to me or what? He's gonna knock back. I don't really have any good towns to move. I'm just gonna do this then. Wow, look at this. Lukoa can destroy all the rocks. This is so good. I love it. I love it so much. We can do this. And. Alma. Look at Alma. Alma do so much damage. Very interesting. And we have. Just to finish him off. Yeah. Pretty good, actually, this team. Although, <laughs> I do have some advantage. We haven't got to the hard boss yet, so this is to be expected. I I don't even want to imagine how this boss will fight against Deathless. <laughs> uh, and then we have the next one, which is Nozart, level 27. Alright, this is level 27, as you can see here. And we find Nozart again. Don't ask me why. This is how the story is supposed to be. So this is the second Nozart. As you can see, all units is level 27. I don't even remember if this Noza has different abilities or it just Noza again. I think he has slightly different abilities. Let's see though. So first thing first, he will shout and knock me back as usual. Pretty good towel though. And we have ripping the ground. Oh, it is different. This one summoned mobs. The last one doesn't summon the mobs. We should dodge it, right? Oh, I still get hit. Oops. I can't wait to actually start getting the equipment again. That would be nice. Right. Actually, oh, no way. Hmm. Yeah, let me just walk all over here to the bottom. I forgot to see what he attack, but it probably doesn't matter. Alma is really good at this boss. <laughs> mm. Alright. Look at this. It would be much better if I'm like on this place though. Actually, I kind of want to try it. What if I stay close to here and then I oh my let me try it uh, the next turn yep I can try the next turn oh my god 
I, I might not even need to do that. I was like, he's dead already. Look at this. Maximum range Elma. Oh, it's not maximum range. Lane. What about this? Oh, it's not an actual either. Hmm. Whatever. Still pretty good damage. I think if I stand here, I can hit all of Nozart. I'll try it next time. I, there's still another Nozart, to be fair. There's three Nozart. And since the next one is Felix and Vanny, which is level 3 ascension one, we will actually getting our first ascension, getting our equipment. That's actually pretty exciting because we've been fighting without equipment so far. I believe having equipment will make everything so much better. And we get our first Toru equipment, which is the chain combo increase damage if you have combo. And then we have our second equipment, which is for Kana. This one will increase basic attack by 1.5% whenever a Dragon Maid character use active skill. And one equipment is probably the hardest to maintain because we don't have a healer in our team. Increase chain combo damage by 8% when health is full, meaning I have to dodge a lot of enemies' attack if I do want to maintain Elma equipment. And we have our equipment for Lokoa. And this is uh, Immortality Mark, which is increasing active skill damage. Very helpful for our team, which is very focused on active skill damage. Actually, three units is very focused on active skill damage. And last but not least, with our Fafnir, so Fafnir will unlock the extra damage whenever they use a blue tile under the enemy. Not too useful for this one because Fafnir don't have high attack. And this one will be Felix and Rani, like I just said. It is Ascension 1 level 3 and we have all our unit Ascension 1 level 3. Let's give it a try. And there we go, Felix and Vanny. This is actually a pretty interesting one because the boss actually will stun you. Uh, the idea is to kill Vanny first, but <laughs> probably doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's just do um, this. Let's stay here, it's fine. We can hit all of them. We are still on full health, right? Does it still count as full health? It's not. Sadly. Okay. Let's swap to Lukoa because we can start building the stack up, right? Alright. I think he's starting to stun this turn. I should run away. Let's swap to Lukoa again. Because big damage. Killing. Okay. First, we do this. Getting two towels over there and Mikoa. Let's knock them here. Wow. A lot of damage. They they do do a lot of damage with the um, active skill. Very interesting. Uh, no matter where I move, doesn't matter. I think. Okay. Oh, I can't swap anymore. Another two towers. The damage is really low for Fafnir. Really, really low. Pitifully low. Okay, he's gonna stun again.
This should be able to finish him off. Yeah. I'm surprised I still haven't lose yet, but we'll see until we get to the hard boss. All right, so this will be the Tabat, which is level one ascension one. And as you can see here, all my units are level ten ascension one. And let's see if we can beat the Tabat. So I actually haven't fought the Tabat in a long time. I'm not too sure if I remember what his mechanic is. I think he knocked you back around and having burn tile on the field or something. <coughs> and use claw to damage. Okay. Let's see. Pretty bad, but whatever. I could have dodged it to be fair, but uh, might as well just hit him. Oh, actually hitting pretty hard. That's pretty scary. Okay, let's convert the tile. Two of them. Oh, random bombs. Okay, we can get Aurora time with this. Let's use up all the tiles because I probably don't need yellow tiles that much. I would like to get more blue tile because we have two blue color unit on my team. Uh, I mean water unit, <laughs> blue color unit. Anyway, we're talking about. Okay. So this will give me damage from two of those water units. So far, everything has been pretty easy. <clears throat> Mostly because I think uh, early game, the enemy is not too hard. Teleport to the edges of the map. I need to swap here. Let's go for... Let's go for Luko, uh, Elma. Yeah, not Luko, Elma. So Elma could hit two tiles. Maybe I should have swapped to Luko instead. Hmm. Yeah, I get five burn. Might not be a smart choice to be fair to hitting that burn. Uh, I think I still can hit him, right? I'm pretty sure. So the Koa. Counter. Can I knock him away? No, I don't think so. But this should be able to beat him. Kana? Make him hard. I'm pretty surprised with the damage they do for the active skill, actually. Pretty good. Even Kana is doing pretty alright. Alright, so that is it for the video for today. This will probably be a three-part or four-part series because how many boss there is. So stay tuned for the next episode of I Destroy All the Boss with Dragon Man Characters. That's a pretty long name. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.